Uh, Peter Morisi, an economist, come on in. <laughs> 209,000 jobs created last month. I call that a pretty solid report. How about you, Peter? Yeah, a great report. All those jobs, 16,000 in manufacturing. Heck, that's a year's worth for the Obama people, it seems. <laughs> uh, the stock market's up. Wages were up. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. It's a weekend in America. What a way to go home. So do if you as long share as the market that, finishes look, up. One of the themes on the program today and yesterday was, look, there's some economic optimism out there. Things are looking up. You agree with that? Well, the profitability of American firms is very strong, especially our technology leaders like, you know, Apple and so forth. And they're doing this by selling abroad. You know, they're earning a lot of money abroad, which means that America is competitive if it has the right kind of government. You know, the, the, the most significant thing about Donald Trump being president of the United States is the regulators now actually take lunch and weekends. You know, they're not out there trying to pull on people's tails 24-7. You know, we'd like to do better than that, get a tax cut. But, you know, even without a tax cut, this economy looks, looks pretty stable. How do you feel about this new immigration proposal, and that's what it is, it's a proposal, that gives priority to skilled workers? Is there some concern amongst economists that we're going to cut off the flow of lower skilled workers into this country, and we need them? Well, we need both kinds, and, and so I think there is some concern about that. But right now, we're pursuing a very foolish immigration policy, and, and I'm not talking about an illegal immigration that's very small. But rather, more than half of our immigrants are in some form of social assistance. That makes no sense to me. That's not contributing to the economy at all. My feeling is that employment-based immigration will give us the kind of growth that we need in an economy with a declining birth rate. And it won't burden the taxpayer, and it won't put low-income people in the position of having to compete too much with immigrants. I like all those things. I think this issue has been demagogued to death in the press by them saying, well, you know, the president wants to cut immigration in half, and economists say it helps the economy. It don't help the economy to import people that go on the dole and then vote Democrat. That doesn't work. But it does work if we pick and choose the people that we want, even though we cut in half the number of legal immigrants. Yes? Absolutely. Think about the New York liberals. Where, what is dying and going to heaven to them? And that's waking up in the afterlife and it's Canada. <laughs> You're cruel, Peter. You are cruel. And in Canada, this is exactly what they do. We have handed Chuck Schumer, you know, something he can't oppose. But you watch. He will. Now, this has got bipartisan support. I've written two columns about this subject in the last several months. One in the Washington Times, another for uh, Market Watch, endorsing this proposal. Good. I think it's a great proposal, and we ought to run with it. Okay, Peter Marisi, you got it all in there, lad. Very well done. Peter, thanks very much indeed. <laughs> See you soon.